Hello everybody, Aquatic Bob's here. So, just wanted to start with saying thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos and thank you for those who have subscribed and are already subscribers. Uh, I feel really excited. This is kind of cool. I like, I really like this hobby. I like doing this and my wife has been helping me edit some videos and it's kind of fun working on it together. And yeah, I, I just, I appreciate you guys for your support and your comments and your thoughts. I've received a lot of constructive criticism as well, which is okay because I'd rather you say something and help me figure something out, even if it does ruffle me up a little bit, than for you to not say anything and me to continue doing something that may not be right or helpful for my tank. So thank you guys for your thoughts and your comments. And I mean, I do like if they're nice, nicely said, but either way, appreciate the thoughts in the comments. So I, I told you guys I would do a video in the day daylights of my tank. So all my lights are turned up to as high as they go during the day, which I think is, you know, I have several different lights I run on the tank. Um, we did a video about it a few weeks ago and mostly blues, a little bit of white. I'd say white probably 15%, blues 65 to 70. And that blue includes violet and ultraviolet. And really trying to get an even distribution of light throughout the tank. And the reason for that is shadowing. And I got a lot of Acropora up top and growing and as it continues to grow and branch out it's going to create a lot of shadows underneath if I don't have even lighting across the top so really thinking about the future of the tank which is a good good lesson and a good reminder for all of us that as our tanks grow out and the coral gets bigger what's going to happen underneath it what's going to happen around it what about water flow that's another thing. How much flow do you have now? Are you going to have room and are you capable of adding more later if you need it? Um, a few things to think about when you're setting up your tank. So a lot of you guys know who have been watching that I've been dealing with a nutrient issue, uh, nitrates. Phosphates have been rated pretty much perfect uh, to my to my liking 0 0.02 to 0 0.03 now some of you guys will say a little bit higher and that could still be all right and I just I, in my experience with it over the last few years the higher the nitrates get or the phosphates get the more that nuisance hair algae starts to grow in my system and I still have a little bit left it's actually starting to go away. You can see it's kind of thinning out, which is pretty cool. A lot of times green hair algae, you have to get in there and rip it out. But So anyways, my nutrients had pretty much bottomed out, apart from phosphates being at, I think when I sent in a water sample, it was 0 0.02, but my nitrates were undetectable. And I started getting a cyano issue. You can see it all over the place here. And so I've kind of just left it alone. And I started dosing nitrates, neonitro. I also got a little bit of neophos. And sometimes for those to help be absorbed, a little bit of a carbon source can be helpful as well. And so I've been keeping an eye on it. Last night I tested nitrates. I have the Hanna nitrate tester and it only goes up to five parts per million and it was over five. So it, it was five and flashing, which means it's over five. Two days ago when I tested it, it was at 4.43 parts per million. So I'm guessing it's probably, and I've slowed down on the dosing now, um, doing only a, about a quarter of what I was before. And so I'm guessing it's probably somewhere in the five to seven parts per million range. And I really would love to be able to keep it in that range. So I might have to get another test kit that can test a little bit higher than five 
And so I've already started to notice that some of the cyano is clearing up. And it's hard to tell. And actually over the last few days, more of it came. But this morning, and since the lights have been on, it's about halfway through the day, I can tell that it's actually starting to go away, which means that the beneficial bacteria is starting to build up its population again, which outcompetes for the cyano. And so it's starting to naturally go away. And also, man, I'm so excited about this. You guys, I'm looking through the screen of my camera right now. And I'm looking at what the coral looks like. And I'm telling you, this coral looks pretty much identical in real life to my actual eye. Like these colors are, are starting to really pop, especially on the LPS. You know, some of the acans and chalice and that's my cotton candy torch, sour apple frog spawn. Or I think it's a sour apple. I bought it on eBay. It was just a frog spawn. Dragon Soul Torch, New York Knicks Torch, some of the zoanthids. You can see in the middle, and there's the blue AOIs, and they really lost that center circle, that yellow center circle. It's starting to come back. I mean, they were they were so rough and out of shape that they were barely even open a few weeks ago. Utter Chaos. Um... This guy had almost completely bleached out. It's the uh, Sector 1 Favites. Here's my chalice. Oh, I wish we could see some of the colors. It's hard to tell. But uh, it's got green and purple and orange in there, along with the red. You can see the red pretty well. Um, yeah, this A can. So some of you guys know from a previous video that this ACAN here was really struggling. And this was probably one of the most beautiful ACANs I'd ever seen when it was really healthy. I'm not even kidding. I I was like, I couldn't find anything that even looked like it. It has every random color and it's got like a blue skirt on the outside of it. And so some of that color is starting to come back. You can tell it looks super good right now. Uh, the Vault Acan, another one that I got from Aqua SD, which, by the way, um, Aqua SD, just super appreciate the team at Aqua SD. I've gotten a lot of coral from them. They've always been super fair. They give out really nice freebies uh, for your order. They always have good deals. And Ramon at Aqua SD has just been a blessing, very, been very kind to me. Um, had uh, something happen, not a big deal, but he, he actually went out of his way to go above and beyond and, and treat me well and take care of the situation. So, super cool. Thanks, Aqua SD. I appreciate you guys. And all you guys watching, AquaSD.com. I, I just I want to repay them and and show them some gratitude. So, yeah, thanks, Ramon. Appreciate you guys and your team. Anyways, back to some of the coral here, and some of these acans I fed so heavy last night. I think I think they're not fluffy right now. You can see their mouths are open a little bit, and looks like they're spitting out a little bit of food which is normal. They'll close up a little bit and spit out some food. This is the Holy Grail Micromusa. So the area that I'm starting to see the slowest, slowest um, changes in since dosing nitrates. I've been dosing, I think it's eight or nine days now, but it's the Acropora. So I've got some really high-end Acropora, and when I say high-end, I understand like it's basically just grown out and taken care of by some of these nicer facilities and uh, top shelf aquatics, and and they get these really nice 
pictures that look almost unbelievable. Um, you ever seen the decorations for uh, a, a glowfish tanks? <laughs> How they look unbelievably colorful and everything. That's almost what some of these corals look like. Uh, this is the haymaker acropora. If you look up a picture of it online, it doesn't even look the same. However, that being said, over the last eight, nine days, whatever, I'm starting to notice some color that I'd never seen in these before, especially when the lights go all blue in the evening. I'm seeing some pretty wild colors. There's the Jesus acro. And I'm really excited about it because Acropora is probably one of my favorite corals, apart from acans. For some reason, though, I've always had a difficult time with acans. Even in my last tank and system, it's just like, I don't know. Everyone says acan is the one of the easiest beginner corals that you can have, but I've struggled a little bit with it, and I don't know. I do well with things in general, and I'm willing to learn, make improvements. But yeah, acans have just been a struggle, but I think I'm getting there. With some of your guys' help, I think I'm getting there. So... I want to see if I can maybe pause this for a second. We can do a little top-down action. I always like, it's like a Amro Azul. He doesn't know me at all, but I watch a lot of his videos. He's got some pretty cool stuff. Oh, well, here's a good example. Shades of Fall Acropora. Worldwide Coral Shades of Fall, you can see it back there, was almost completely, completely paled out. And now you can see it's got that nice green, nice purple tips on it. Super pretty, super cool. Let's take a look at... Shut these wave makers off. Again, I do use all Jabo wave makers. They actually work pretty well. I clean them maybe once every two or three months, just a real quick cleaning, and good to go. This is the Grave Digger Acropora. These colors really are nice. You guys probably know this one, uh, Aqua SD Rainbow Millie. Do a little top down of this Euphelia Garden here. That's really pretty. Bill Murray, Acropora. I did get Dan Aykroyd, um, Carolina Reaper. So I did get some new fish. Uh, let's see, I got a long nose hawkfish. There he is. He's super cool. Just a little fella. Uh, you can see the pectina has a tentacle, a sweeper out back there. Really cool fish. By the way, I also figured out how to use my phone to use Ultra HD. Really cool. Check this out. This thing is awesome. And... Got a little baby. Doesn't look at all like him, but each week it's getting more and more orange and colorful. This thing is so big and fluffy right now, it looks like you can almost see through it. <laughs> Just love that color mash right there. Wow. That's insane. I do have my orange filter on, but uh with the daylights, it, it, this really looks like what it looks like right now. Let's see if we can see. I got a big pink square Anthea somewhere in here. I'm not sure where he's at right now. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we're not going to be able to focus on him. Sorry, guys, but... I, I got one online, I didn't even know 
but this thing is like five inches long. By far the biggest fish in my tank. <laughs> Here's top shelf's sugar daddy, Gunny. Carpet. The carpet and anemone keeps stretching out. I have to move some stuff back soon. Here's the sunburst bubble tip. Got it on eBay. A couple of nice Acan colonies from the Coral Dragon. Look at that chalice. Another one from the Coral Dragon. I would encourage you guys to check out the Coral Dragon. Super cool. Super nice people too. Yeah. So, anyways, things are going really great. Doublehead orange scully. Yeah. Well, guys, so there it is. Nitrates make a huge difference in your system. And so does patience and, and letting things adjust. If you're going to make changes, make one change at a time. And give it a little while and see how your tank starts reacting. See what happens. And if nothing happens, then make another addition or try a little bit more. But uh, check those nitrates, check your phosphates, and you do want some. And this is proof for you guys. And I understand every tank is different, but coral do so much better when you have some nutrients in your system. And it's just like you and I, the healthier we eat, and, and if all we did was a Dairy Queen and steak every day, I mean, we'd probably be all right. But, I mean, it's nice to have some vegetables and some other breads and everything else. So, yeah. Take a look at uh, what you're feeding your corals and where your nutrients are at. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. So, Aquatic Bobs, thanks for watching another video. See you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, if you have any video ideas, let me know as well. Greatly appreciate that. See you guys.